What's happening, YouTube? Today, we're going to be seeing how the Starfield runs on the Steam Deck on the 3.5 update. Now, uh, word of caution, this is a preview build, so you know. Update at your own risk, but I'm going to show you how to update, things to look out for, so let's get going. First things first, you're going to want to enable developer mode. And you go to a system here. You're going to change this from stable to preview build. Now, just a, well, word of caution, it is a preview build. It's not even beta, so you might run into some, some issues. I haven't seen any issues yet, but another thing to keep in mind if you do this, this took me nearly an hour. Might have even taken a little bit longer than an hour to complete this update. So you'll hit the preview build. Your Steam Deck will reboot. And then once you reboot, you hit this right here, hit check for updates, and it'll start searching for an update. And then it'll find the 3.5 and allow you to patch it. And the reason we want 3.5 is because if you're trying to run Starfield, right now it's the absolute best way to run this game in terms of frame rate. So another thing right before we run Starfield that you're gonna wanna do is go to properties, compatibility, and change this to Proton Experimental. If you don't have Proton Experimental, you might have to download it. And you're gonna wanna check this box too here. All right, so let's get into it. Show you the settings that I have here. So borderless full screen. See if I can get this to focus a little better. There we go. Dynamic resolution, 80% render resolution, and then all these are low, except I like to turn off motion blur. FSR2, and then I put my sharpening at a 50%. VRS on, film grain, I, I sometimes turn this off in this game I haven't noticed any weird graphics with film grain so I've kept it on and then uh, depth of field off We're going to start in the first area. This is New Atlantis City. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. This area is the hardest area for this thing to uh, essentially perform. However, if you can already see, and let's get that uh, overlay on. Your frame rate is around 25 to 28 which is about three to five frames better than it was on the 3.4 update on the stable build of the steam deck so and we're, you're going to see some drop downs here and there like you just saw whenever it encounters essentially people it it drops down so but this is much better than what we were seeing I mean, prior to this, I'm, I'm at about 28, 30. And prior to this, it was about mm, 20 to 25. Which for me, that's not an experience that uh, I particularly would want to go for. Um, I'd rather try to get it as close to 30 or hell, even 60 if I can. But... Just show you real quick here, the commercial district. And then we'll jump up to Mars. Oh. 
So still, I mean, it's playable. You're gonna always get a little dip right through there. I don't know why that is. So commercial district kind of ranges 23 to 28. Like I said, playable. Let's go to a different system. Take it to Mars. Here's Sidonia and Mars. This area runs pretty well. I was seeing about 30 all the way through. Drops down to 28 here and there, but mostly you're going to get a pretty locked 30. Now I'm going to head over to Neon, show you guys how it runs there. Oh, you know what? Should probably show you guys how it runs in space, actually. Right here we are above Mars, and this is pretty close to what I get when I'm right above uh, Jemson and New Atlantis. About 30. Um, sometimes it'll jump up to 35 or so, but very playable. Much better than the last update where it was kind of right under 30. And let's go to Neon. Don't you guys just love Sarah's little remarks? <laughs> Alright, this is Neon. It runs pretty well. You're getting about 30, 35 through here. Show you guys the club. Oh. I'm going to pass out before I get to the club. Alright, so you can see here, I noticed this immediately, the frames drop to about 20. However, once you stare away from the people, 
it jumps up to almost like 50. <laughs> so, so I think with some more optimizations, this game could run like pretty well on the Steam Deck, to be honest. It's like these smaller areas, and it's like as soon as you look away from people, you start seeing a huge increase in performance. Like, see, this is the VIP area. We're almost getting up to 60 in some of these areas, which is pretty wild. So I think with a few more optimization tweaks, this game could run pretty well on the Steam Deck. But as of right now, it's in a pretty playable state, and I'm pretty happy with the new uh, update that they put out on Preview Build. Like I said, I haven't had any issues with it. And, um, oh, one more thing that I need to show you guys is, for some reason, the controller scheme is a little messed up. This button here and this button here seem to be swapped. So, you go to your controller settings. You can go search for a um, community layout and just hit this top one here, correct start button, and then X to apply, and then you'll have the right, um, essentially, start select. So, anyway, that'll do it for this video. You know, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments, and uh, have a great day.